Greetings. So this is going to be the general weekly energy reading and love in general life for the Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. For the love portion of this reading, um, it may also resonate with you if you have Aries in your Venus placement of your natal charts. Please keep in mind that this is still general energy and may or may not apply to you. Also beware that some of it may apply and some of it may not. If you would like me to tap into your own personal energy, all the information that you need to book a personal reading with me will be in the description box below. If you are interested in participating in daily pick a card readings, you can follow me on Instagram at Bree Spirit God Insight. What? Sorry, I tried to put her to sleep and she woke up. And then I just put her back to sleep again. She was in my lap and she woke up again. So let's hope this child don't make a whole bunch of ruckus while I'm trying to do this week. No, go back to sleep. All right, let's see. Where was I at? Okay, so you can follow me on Instagram, Bree Spear God Insight, Daily Pick a Card Readings. Thank you to all of my new um, and old subscribers. I really appreciate your support. If you are new to my channel and you are not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. If this message resonates for you, please give it a thumbs up and comment if you wish. I'd love to hear from you. I also will be pulling a direct angel answer in regards to love. For the collective, so if you have a more direct question, please keep it in mind until the end of the video, and hopefully the answer provides you with the clarity that you need. Okay, let's see. One more shuffle. Let's get the Aries energy out of here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, girl. Mm hmm Okay, let's see. Mm, okay. All right, all right, okay. Mm, interesting. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so Aries, for your general energy, we have the Emperor, which is the Aries card, and the Chariot card in reverse. We have the Two of Cups in the reverse. The Two of Cups in reverse and the Star card in reverse. And we have the Five of Swords and the Six of Wands, both in the reverse. So what I'm getting this week, um, you're in your energy and you're embodying it. I feel like there's something that um, you decided not to move forward with and you're deciding to discipline and control and kind of plan how you're going to go about things. And so you're making sure you're going in the right direction and the direction that you want to go in is going to work for you. I feel like there could have been a separation. It's even showing here in your love energy um, with someone that you just don't have hope for anymore. And I feel like that's a blessing right now because it's putting you back into your energy. There was something that doesn't necessarily have to be love, um, but there was something that you let go of or something that you disconnected from. It could have been a friend, a lover, a job, anything that you had an emotional connection with and you felt like it was um, of purpose at one point. Now you're seeing that um, it's not and that's kind of like the blessing because now you can focus on yourself and discipline and control yourself and get more direction um, on what it is that you're trying to achieve here. So spirit wants you to just continue to focus on, um, I feel like not dealing with things based off of the surface level of achievement, making sure that you get achievement in all ways um, within whatever situation you're now moving towards and to release the mental conflict that comes with maybe this possible separation from someone or something that had to be let go of so that you can be back in control of your life and what you're trying to do. So let's see, what is the general energy? 
Okay, so we got vacation. It says take time for relaxation and adventure. So there was a separation and I do see that it was emotional bond with the two of cups. So even though you're getting back on your feet and you're taking charge and you're moving toward um, things that now you want to move toward, I feel like you need to also give yourself time to take a break, to reevaluate the situation, to heal from the situation as well, because a star card it could also in reverse be indicating that there's a need for healing. So um, make sure you do that. So let's see what's going on in there. So on this person's end, we have the six of cups in reverse and the three of swords. And we have the high priestess in reverse and the temperance card in reverse. So I feel like this person here um, is hurt by this connection. I feel like they're stuck in negativity when it comes to this situation and what it is. And I feel like there's not a wanting to reconcile. Um, but let's see, why is the temperance card here with the high priestess both in reverse? Uh oh. I said, uh oh. We got the Knight of Wands in the reversed. And we got the Nine of Cups in the reversed. So I feel like this person's intentions are to um to not move toward this anymore, I feel like. And I feel like I feel like it's because they're not getting emotionally fulfilled. Or they're being emotionally torn by the situation, really, is what I'm getting. Why is the high priestess here? Let me see what this is indicating, because it's in reverse. So we got the full card in the reverse. So I'm not getting that this person is lacking intuitive or um, intuition. I'm kind of getting that they're, like, when it comes to the situation, um, they're embodying more negative thoughts than positive so it's kind of like um needing to see the bigger picture with the high priestess in the reverse see the situation for what it is and don't take it so personal because i think there may be something or this person if this is not you may know about this situation that would give them clarity on how and why it happened and how they could change it from happening elsewhere or within the situation possibly for some um but yeah that's what i'm getting so let me see why is the three of swords here We got the Ace of Wands in the reversed. More clarity on the swords. Okay, we got the Three of Cups in the reverse. So um, this person may be feeling like, oh, well, my sex, what I'm really getting with that Ace of Wands that came out because I knew it probably has something to do with the third party situation. It's like, oh, I'm not good enough for you or oh, my sex isn't good enough for you or oh, our connection isn't good enough for you. So this person is hurt um, because they thought there was something better here. And I feel like that's kind of where they may not be listening to their intuition because it's not about necessarily that it's about looking at the bigger picture and I think they're kind of looking at the situation in a more personal aspect like oh you did this to me and taking it very personal when I think this person is just the way that they are is what I'm getting so um this person over here we have the knight of pentacles and the queen of swords and the reversed and we have the ace of cups and the magician card so let's see I feel like um, this person is slowly moving toward the other person. I feel like this person on this end is not um, open and receptive to communication. And when it is, uh, when it, when it, when they may be communicating, it may be very hostile or very um, argumentative um, communication. But I feel like this person is trying to figure out how to slowly move towards the other person because they are wanting a new start in love and to manifest that. Um, so why is the knight of swords here with the okay so we got the two of pentacles so i feel like this person has already made a decision like look this is what i want to do um i don't want this other person but they're kind of um isolating themselves currently and giving it time um because i think they know that this person on this end is hurt and then we have the king of swords. So yeah, they're kind of in a more logical approach. It's kind of like an energy of like, oh, I love this person. I made a decision about them and I dropped the other person or, um, you know, I had my fun with that person and I, it's done. So now I want to go back to you, but I'm going to give you your time because it's hostile, bitchy communication or no communication at all. And because there's a time needed for healing and to let go of hurt feelings. And this person knows that. So it's kind of like... Um, yeah, so why is the Ace of Cups here with the Magician card? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, you sleepy. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. We got the sun card. And the two of swords. So this person has already made the decision. Like, look, this is what I want. Um, that I think they're in the energy of manifesting what it is they want. And I'm getting like a calculated kind of energy too, where um it's a calculated energy where it's like they they're taking it step by step and they know like they're slow, but they're steady and they're working toward a goal here. So, um, but this person does has, have intentions of coming back and trying to start something anew and the connection. We have the six of cups and the page of cups in the reverse or the eight of cups and the, the page of cups in the reverse. So I feel like right now, um, you both are kind of emotionally withdrawing from one another. I feel like this person really wants this connection, but they know that there's, there's needed time. So they're kind of allowing that time um and i feel like this person over here is just hurt and i feel like when emotions may be uh may be being expressed possibly from the person that's hurt within the situation it could be very immature um emotional text messages or comments petty comments um tied or um said and possibly due to emotions so for the outcome we have the ten of wands in the reverse and the ten of swords <gasps> Okay, let's see. Why is this here? Give me more clarity on the two of wands. What I'm really getting is someone is going to confess to something more or kind of drop the load about what the whole situation is within the situation. And yeah, we got the page of swords. So there's going to be some communication. Um, maybe someone on one end, maybe this person here, um, you know, kind of took a break or whatever and kind of really looking into some things and maybe find something out and gets the other person to confess something. Maybe this energy is coming from this person here where there's a cycle of cheating. There's a cycle of sneaking around and doing things like that. And so maybe this person just has um, like assumptions that something is going on with their partner and them doing things outside of their commitment. But I think um, through communication or just through observation or someone coming in and communicating something to you or to this person, um, something's going to be confessed about the situation and there's going to be a bad ending here. Um, why is the Ten of Swords here? Let me get more clarity. Want my card. I try not to make these videos too long because... Yeah, I just try not to make it too long. We'll get to the point, right? Okay, let's see. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Please and thank you. We got the Moon card. So yeah, something is going to be exposed. The secret is going to be exposed. I think that if this is you on one end where you think there's something going on or you know there's something going on, there's something a lot deeper going on and it's going to be coming out by the end of this week um let's see what oh i didn't even get your advice for your general life Ooh. okay so let me do that real quick so advice for your general life and then advice for love okay what is the advice for the aries in general life is this excuse me okay so you got confrontation it says pick your battles wisely so this is where this energy is coming from. Like, don't get yourself and fight for situations where you're only getting um, recognition or reward on surface level. Make sure you're getting it in all areas. Um, okay, so what is the advice? Ooh. Ooh. That was a lot. Okay, let's see. What's wrong? What's wrong? Okay, come on. Sit on the table. You just want me. You just want me and you had me, but you still cry. What's wrong? Okay, let's see. What is the advice in love? You got drag and discover your courage. Let's see what else they have to say for love. Nine. It says resilience, rise above tribulations. So I feel like whatever this is, um, and I know Aries, okay, y'all very um confrontational uh confrontational ready to fight um but somebody do something and that fire come out so i think within this situation it's like yeah you can go to that extent and yeah you have the courage and the strength and all that to go to that extent but i feel like the new courage that you have to find within yourself is to not 
allow yourself to impulsively move based off of emotion. I think you just have to rise above it all and see the situation for what it really is. Listen to your intuition. See the bigger perspective. Don't take everything or take this whole situation so personal. Um, and just move on is what I'm getting. Because you even got self-reliance right there at the bottom of the deck. It says, don't be afraid to fly solo. So I feel like um, this person, is. I would just leave them alone. Okay, let's see. What's is the direct angel answer you got you're ready so i hope that this reading resonates for you you can check your moon and your rising sign also you can book a personal reading with me all the information that you need will be in the description box below thank you all so much for your support and i'll see you next time